I'm desperately afraid to fall and, and get hurt. I am a massage therapist and I said that I would never skateboard. You know, a fall could be very dangerous for the work that I do, so I was never. And so I just supported the kids and spotted the kids and even spotted my husband Gord when he was trying new things. And, and, then, and then the pandemic hit and we were without jobs and Gord had built a couple skate ramps in the garage and I was like, well, maybe it's time I stand on a board. So. So I did, and it's really scary and really challenging, and I get motivated when something's really challenging, and I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just cruise around a little bit and, and join them. She's good for a beginner. I was trying to push her subtly for a while, and uh, she came around when COVID hit, and we both didn't have jobs, and spent some time skating. Kind of was something our family activity, so that kind of brought the whole family together, which was great. Marilyn was at the skate park with her dad and her brother, and. There was a group um, she had mentioned that was from Revelstoke, they're called Louise on Wheels, and they had come and really embraced Marin and really supported her and gave her like their sticker that they have. And so she came home that day and I wasn't there and she's like, I want to do this. I wanted to do something like that. So then we started making stickers and made a Facebook site. She's, she's a leader in the group, for sure. She's a strong skateboarder and it's exciting because you know, she's a shy girl. And so where, you know, she might not be so outgoing in other areas, like other girls are starting to gravitate towards her because she's solid and she's good at giving tips. And so I think it's been really amazing for her as a growth piece, as you say, as a person, to, to have a little bit of leadership in something she's good at. I, I just get extreme, I don't even know what to call it. I'm just so proud of all these girls, of having them come out and, um, every once in a while I get emotional about it, um, but just to see these girls, they get on but they're fearless and then they do it and I'm like, hey, I can do that too and so it's really motivating for me but more just, it just, it really fills me up to watch them do it and I'm really about girls or women or those identifying as girls that just really are just willing to do it. It's just Castle Guard Girls on Boards on Facebook and you can just request to join and we also have an Instagram site that Gord monitors more um, so you can find us on Instagram too, it's just Castle Guard Girls on Boards but yeah it's an easy connect and, and we love, we, we welcome everyone.